in this frame, support A is a pin, and support B is fully fixed. Connections here between the beam and the columns are rigid. Now if we apply a horizontal force at the left top corner of this frame, we will see the frame deforms into this shape. Now we look at the left hand side column because point A is a hinge support, so rotation is permitted. Therefore, this column develops into a single curvature. Now we look at the right hand side column. Point B is a fully fixed support. Therefore, rotation is not permitted. So this column develops into an S curve or a reversed S curve. A counterflexural point here. And now look at the beam. Because of the rigid connection here, the restraints provided by the column, so the beam also develops into an S shape from concave up to concave down. So there is a counterflexural point within the beam also. But for the first column here, because this is one curvature, so no counterflexural points there. And again, looking at the connections, we can see clearly that both connections remain the 90 degree angle after deformation.